Welcome everybody to a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video today and this week sees the release of one of the most highly anticipated movies of 2018 if not the most Marvel's Avengers Infinity War hit store shelves this week along with the horror thriller Bad Samaritan the Grace Jones documentary Bloodlight and Bami Screen Factory is releasing a Blu-ray Collector's Edition of Return of the Living Dead Part 2 and a Blu-ray edition of The Unborn as well, plus much, much more. So let's go in and see the deals, exclusives, and we are at our first location, Walmart. So let's go in and see what they got. Alright guys, we are in here at Walmart and I'm seeing this display here for Marvel's Avengers Infinity War right here. And they end up having... The Blu-ray here for $22.96. They also, on the other side here, have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $27.96 here as well. And, and Bob and I did a movie review on Avengers Infinity War. You can catch it on the movie review playlist. And we also did... A Avengers Infinity War spoiler discussion talking all about the movie, the deaths, the characters, where Marvel Studios should go from here, what's going to happen with, with the Disney properties that they're taking over from Fox and uh, putting them in there. We talked about it all, so definitely check that out on the spoiler discussion playlist as well. And man, we love this movie. This is a fanboy's wet dream, guys. And this is one of the most highly anticipated movies, I think, that will come out in 2018. And it's just been leading up to so much stuff, man. Thanos was such a villain that was really anticipated. Was he going to deliver? Was he not? This is just a culmination of 10 years worth of Marvel Studios films. And Guys, it works. It works really well. It's so awesome. It's so uh, fantastic and epic. I, I would agree with Rolling Stone here. It's an epic event. It really is. And it's such an amazing movie. Everyone hits it out of the park. Special effects are awesome. The acting, all the actors do an amazing job in the roles that they've been doing for years. Thanos, man, he kicks ass. He's a great villain. He, um... The explanations of him being a villain are really well done. He's not a villain for villain's sake. There's actually a reason why he's doing stuff. It's it's a really effective film, man. And, you know, some of these Marvel films, some of them are good, some of them are bad. Um, but, is, but you wonder if the payoff is worth it. And honestly, guys, with a movie like this, the payoff definitely becomes worth it. It's so amazing, and it's easily worth it to me. This is beyond a recommendation. It's it's a it's a fantastic movie, a great film to watch, man. It's just a rip roaring great blockbuster of a film uh, that I just was so glad that it delivered on all accounts, man. Because I was worried, but I shouldn't have been worried, man. It's it's so fantastic. This movie, Marvel, hits it out of the park again, guys. At least for me. Um, don't see the DVD here, but maybe we'll go searching. And I don't see any um, exclusives here either, but we'll look around and see what we can find. And just so you guys know, it's only limited to two copies per customer. So if you want more than two copies, you definitely got to bring a friend. Uh, all right, guys. Um, let's see what else that um, Walmart's got. All right, guys, we are in this section of Walmart, and they do have the DVD here for $19.96 here, all the same artwork. No exclusives here at Walmart, which really shocks me. I was thinking we'd get some sort of exclusive here for Avengers Infinity War, some big movie like this, but unfortunately, we didn't get anything. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, they also have over here, they have the Blu-ray and digital of the Yellow Birds here, for $14.96 and the DVD here for $12.96. I have not heard of this movie, but the cast here is impressive. Ty Sheridan, who was great in Ready Player One, Alden Ehrenreich, who was Han Solo in that new solo movie, Tony Collette, Jason Patrick, Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, there is definitely a great cast in this movie. Huh, when, what is this about? Huh, that actually could be really cool, guys. 
I actually do like a good war movie, good war drama. This does look really cool here. And again, the cast here is really interesting. I, I don't know, this would be something I would definitely be interested in. You know what this um, movie could almost remind me of? is something like Stop Loss. Like really young actors in these roles, almost like, almost like a breakout performance role for some of these guys. Could be really cool. A couple of young actors who are definitely coming up. It, that could be really cool. I dem, I'm definitely interested in this movie, guys. If you guys know anything about the Yellowbirds, let me know. I, I could be into this. This could look really cool to me. The other thing I'm seeing over here is the Blu-ray of Shock and Awe for $14.96 and the DVD for $12.96 here. And I got a chance to watch this on Amazon Prime. And my God, man, I loved this movie. Holy shit, guys. I was... I had heard about it, but I never got a chance to see it and man I was so pleasantly surprised here man the acting is amazing here Woody Harrelson, Rob Reiner, James Marsden, Tommy Lee Jones and a host of other people are just amazing in this Mila Jovovich is in, in this as well um, a whole host, a host of people all do an amazing job here and it's really about about um, how the Bush administration wanted to go to war and they faked uh, the weapons of mass destruction and this newspaper is trying to uncover the truth and all the complications of that and it's it's such a fascinating movie guys I really love the fuck out of this movie and I know it's directed by Rob Reiner he directs amazing movies all these actors did an amazing job in this and for me I'm not gonna lie guys it, it's just it's just one hell of an amazing movie and I love now a lot like with the Vietnam War is like now with now with sort of the Iraq War here, there's so many different movies about about the Iraq War. You know, the the soldier aspect to it and the the journalistic aspect to it. It's such fascinating movie. It really was an. I was pleasantly surprised by this movie. I loved it. I was really amazed by it. I was really pleasantly surprised. It is definitely worth a watch, guys. Easily. Um, the next film that I'm seeing over here is Bad Samaritan. The DVD here for $12.96 and the Blu-ray here for $14.96. And the Blu-ray does not have a slipcover, but the DVD does. Why? I don't know. It's very weird to me. Uh, but, um... Nick and I did a review on Bad Samaritan. You can catch it on the movie review playlist. And, uh, the movie's just okay. The trailer is better than the movie is, but I gotta admit, it's an interesting thing about this sort of guy who, um, is, sort of works for this restaurant, but he's kind of, um, he sort of parks people's cars and he steals their keys and goes to their place and steals some of their, their, like, belongings, and he ends up actually going to this one guy's, um, place and he ends up finding this chick tied up and he's like oh my god this guy is like tying up women and he's this this, this guy is a murderer and he's a kidnapper and this guy eventually finds out that this younger dude is doing this going into his home and he messes up his life and fucks with him and everything um again the movie's just okay characters making really stupid decisions and a lot of just like, you know, okay deaths. And the only thing that's really worth it in this movie, guys, is David Tennant. David Tennant is amazing in this movie and he does such a wonderful job. But honestly, to, to, to be honest with you guys, um, if it wasn't for David Tennant, I think this movie would be really forgettable. But David Tennant does such an awesome job here. It's at least worth a watch to watch him in it and how awesome he is in it. Uh, beyond that, I think it's probably a pass, but... There's interesting aspects to it, but for me, it's, mm, I would probably say a skip it, you know. Other, if you love David Tennant, though, it is worth to check it out. And then I'm seeing over here, Higher Power, the Blu-ray for $12.96 and the DVD for $9.96 here. Um, from the producer of Transformers, G.I. Joe, and visual effects artist of 300 Fantastic Four and X-Men Origins. Okay. The power to save the world or to end it. I like the cover. The cover is really cool. 
a cyberpunk thriller that becomes a complete sensory overload. When the universe decides what it wants, it's pointless to risk with his family's lives at stake. Joseph. Huh. That could be cool, guys. I actually think that could be pretty awesome here. Higher power. That's not actually bad here. And honestly speaking, it's it looks it looks kind of cool. I like the uh, I like the cover. The cover's really interesting here. Um, hmm. Yeah, that, that could be really cool. Higher power. Hmm. Interesting. Also over here, I am seeing the Last Warrior, the DVD here for nine ninety six, and the Blu Ray for twelve ninety six. I don't know much about The Last Warrior here. Game of Thrones meets Braveheart. The blood of many for the honor of one. Uh, a new era is about to begin in Eastern Europe. The round world and all the fun and most. Uh, huh. Uh, I don't know if I would be into this movie. It's kind of like a medieval movie. It's not really one for me. This medieval kind of movie is not really my thing. Eh, it's probably a pass for me. Looks kind of cool. If you're into medieval stuff, could be interesting, but ah, I'm probably going to pass on this one. And then the next thing I am seeing over here, guys, is Affairs of State, the DVD for $14.96. If I can actually, like, keep it keep a hold of it guys um Mimi Rogers Adrian Grenier it's quite a power oh this could be cool like a thriller talking of like like a, a political thriller Oh, that could be good. I like Mimi Rogers. I like Thora Birch. Yeah, Adrian, Adrian Grenier, though. Adrian Grenier is a little bit on the, like, eh. You know, after after Entourage, I just haven't really been much interested in him. And outside of that, uh, could be interesting. Could be cool. Maybe. A political thriller. Affairs of State could be interesting. I like the cover, though. The cover's really cool. I like the check like bathed in like the um, the flag with the knife. Very cool. Hmm. Then the next thing over here is how to talk to girls at parties. The DVD for fourteen ninety six here. And actually, I got to watch this movie on Amazon Prime with my girlfriend. Ooh. Ah. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm gonna be very honest with you. This movie is really weird and really bizarre, and I don't really know how I feel about this movie. Um, it's trying to be like a Romeo and Juliet story, kind of, set in like, I believe, like 1977 London, in like the punk scene or something, and it's about this guy who meets up with this chick who's part of these, like, this alien tribe that are visiting worlds, and... They fall in love, and it's just, God, it's really kind of weird and kind of fucked up. Um, the performances are just okay at best. Um, it's, I don't think the movie works. I mean, the, 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 love, the love story doesn't really work here. Um, it's kind of interesting. I like the backdrop of the punk scene. The punk scene's really cool in it. But beyond that, the story just kind of falls flat, and the aliens are just way too weird for my taste, and they're just, it's its way too sexual and weird. I'm, not, I'm saying weird, but it's like, it's weird as in, like, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I know it's based on a short story, and I never read it, but it's just really weird, man. Hard to describe, but I would, to me... I didn't care for it. I just was, it was just too, it wasn't my kind of thing. It was, it was kind of weird and I just didn't really care for the story and care for the characters. It just kind of fell flat to me. I don't know. If you guys have liked How to Talk to Girls at Parties, let me know. I honestly just didn't care for it though. And the other thing I'm seeing over here is Destined to Ride, the DVD for $9.96 here. Joey Lawrence, my God, man, and Denise Richards. I haven't seen those in a movie in a long-ass time. 
when her world was turned upside down, Destiny stepped in. Uh, uh, could be interesting, sort of a heartfelt family adventure story, really, pretty much. Oh man, Joey Lawrence and Denise Richards, I haven't seen them in, like I said, a long ass time, especially Joey Lawrence. My goodness, man. Uh, I, I don't know if it would be for me, maybe. I'm not into these sort of family adventure type of movies, not as much as maybe others, but mm, it looks like straight to DVD stuff, right? regular stuff, you know what I mean? Nothing really exciting, but just to see Joey Lawrence and Denise Richards, yeah, again, my God, man, it's been a long ass time. Uh, other than that, um, seems to be it in this section. Let's see if Walmart has anything else, guys. All right, guys, we're in this section too, and I'm seeing this display for for sort of promotion for the Predator, which comes out on September 14th, and they have all these sort of Blu-rays and all these collection sets that have um, some money for the Predator in them, which will be in theaters September 14th, and they have sort of the Blu-ray digital of Predator here. The DVD, um, the Predator triple feature for seven ninety six. They also have that Blu-ray digital Predator three movie collection. I know I showed you the three movie collection last week, but they must have just put this up like this week or a couple days ago. Um, all these other ones, collection ones. They got uh, Maze Runner and the X Men Beginnings trilogy, all with the Predator movie cash in them. So if you're looking for movie cash for the Predator, well, they got some good stuff here to definitely buy that has it. Let's read. There, there. But I did hear something, though, that the Blu-ray here, the new release for the Blu-ray of the Predator here, and the three movie collection stuff, that it's the same transfers as the old Blu-ray. So they didn't redo it. The only one that actually redid it is the 4K. So that really bad transfer that was on the the, the Hunter edition there, I believe it was, um, which had the really bad transfer with the waxy looking faces and everything like that, all the DNR on it. Basically, this release has it. So um, the only release that's worth getting from what I hear is actually the 4K one. So. Um, the only reason you would buy this is if you wanted the movie cash. I would suggest the 4K one to you guys because I heard the picture quality is amazing in that. Um, these ones, you're getting the same transfers, the old transfers, so they didn't do anything new. They just repackaged the movies, which sucks, but if you don't own it, it might, might be worth a buy because you get the movie cash in it regardless. Other than that, that'll do it uh, for Walmart, guys. Let's head out of here. Okay, really solid selection this week they have here at Walmart, but the one thing that really confuses me, guys, is the idea that they don't have any exclusives for Avengers Infinity War. Like, such a big release, big movie, you would think that they would have some sort of big exclusive for it. I mean, we've seen exclusives that they've done for really smaller movies, but something like Avengers Infinity War, like, that was a no-brainer to me, but... Apparently not. Uh, I'm kind of shocked. But uh, other than that, I mean, they did have a good selection this week. A lot of titles to look at, so that was a plus. Let's hope that the other stores that we go to has cool selection and maybe even some exclusives we can show you guys. All right, let's head out. All right, everybody, we are at our second location, Target. Now, as I said, man, the selection at Walmart was really great, but I was just so blown away that we just didn't get any exclusives for Avengers Infinity War. Like, I just thought everybody would have exclusives, and when they didn't, I was kind of like, really? Um, so I'm hoping that Target has some exclusive to show us. Hopefully they have some really good selection. A lot of cool titles came out this week, so hopefully Target will be carrying a lot of cool stuff. Uh, let's go in and see, hopefully, all the cool stuff that Target has this week, guys. Okay, guys, we are in at Target here, and I'm seeing this display for Marvel's Avengers Infinity War here. Very cool display that they got right here. Very nice. 
and I'm seeing they do have an exclusive. They have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital code. Only Atari Limited Edition includes 40-page filmmaker gallery booklet inside, and it kind of looks like this here. I'll kind of show you there. Right inside, kind of looks like that. Very nice here. And I like the cover here. The cover is very different, slightly different from that. I like the cover. Very, very classic. God, God, I like that cover. That's a cool cover, cover man. I like that co cover a lot. That's really cool. They also have here, they have the Blu-ray and digital code for $22.99. And they have the DVD here for $19.99 as well. And anything you guys can think of, oh, wouldn't it be cool if this character met up with this character or spoke to this character or or whatnot, it's it's practically in this movie, guys. It's It's such an awesome movie. And, again, it's only as good as its villain. And I do have to admit to you guys that, that Thanos is just fucking awesome. It's... I do have to admit, though, that the reasons why he's being a bad guy is not the same as it is in the comic book. The comic book was very much about him courting death and, and falling in love with death. This is slightly different, but I think it works better for a movie than it does actually, like, like if they were to just straight up adapt it. And he's, to me, he's one of the best. Um, some people are going to say Killmonger. Some people are going to go ahead and do a few other villains that they think are better. But this is still probably the best one, guys. It's, it's honestly fantastic. And the, the movie is just fucking awesome. It's one of the best ones. Definitely, definitely go out and check it out. Buy it if you haven't. It's just fucking awesome. Oh, all right, well, that does it for this display here. Let's see what else they got. All right, guys, we are in this section of Target, and the first thing I'm seeing over here is the DVD of How to Talk to Girls at Parties for $12.99, and my girlfriend is huge into the punk scene. She loves punk music, and she found the punk music in here really cool. She liked the nods to a lot of the old-school punk music back in the day. But we were just weirded out. And just This movie just doesn't really make any kind of sense whatsoever. And she commented during the movie. And you know what? It makes perfect sense. Nicole Kidman is so out of place in this movie. She she looks like... She, I think my girlfriend put it. She looks like um, David Bowie from The Labyrinth, but in drag. And And when you watch the movie, just keep that in your mind. And it's just really hilarious, man. And I just, uh, other than just, you know, laughing at the movie a little bit and some of the characters, the movie just is really just doesn't make any sense and kind of out there. And it's supposed to be this kind of great love story, but man, it kind of fails the love story part. It really does. I, I just, there's better movies like this, weird movies, but they make sense. This is not one of them, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pass, honestly. It really is. Maybe a curiosity, but beyond that, not too much, guys. Then, the other thing over here I'm seeing is Bad Samaritan, the Blu-ray for $14.99 and the DVD here for $12.99. And again, no, no slipcover for the Blu-ray, which is just really weird to me. DVD has slipcover, Blu-ray doesn't. Doesn't make sense, but whatever. And... Um, you know, again, man, the reason to watch this, David Tennant, and David Tennant, man, I gotta give him credit, he's a really great actor, doesn't get a lot of love, though, I mean, when he was Doctor Who, a lot of people consider him one of their favorite Doctor Whos, and he had a small role in one of the Harry Potter movies, and he was really great in that, but he doesn't get a lot of great roles, unfortunately, and this was a really great role, he sunk his teeth into a really great villain bad guy, but the movie just kind of failed him, which is unfortunate, but, you know, it's just a typical horror thriller. Nothing special. There's better movies like this. This, again, like Dave, Dave Tennant, worth it. Other than that, not too much. And then, over here, I am seeing, I believe this week also got released, Arrow, the complete sixth season on Blu-ray and digital for $37.99 and the DVD for $36.99. And... I have not seen one single episode of Arrow, but I do hear it's good, though. I do hear it's really good, and I do hear a lot of the DC shows are really good and worth it to get into, but I have a sinking feeling that I can't really, like, just 
dive right into like if I were to watch this the seventh season like I can't really do that because I'm just gonna be so goddamn confused and everything and so we kind of got to start at the beginning with these shows but now there's a whole like DC world and universe going on with Legends of Tomorrow and Arrow and Supergirl and you know all the and the Flash now and so it's like now it's like everything's interconnected and I don't know I mean it could you know I everybody has told me to kind of get into it but I'm hesitant because again I'm so far behind but let me know what you guys think of Arrow here could be kind of cool to check into because I do like a lot of the DC heroes and the TV shows I've heard I've really been awesome and the other thing I'm seeing over here is the DVD of the blacklist the complete fifth season for 2550 and again this is another show that I really wanted to get into but just never found the time to I love me some James Spader man James Spader you know, it's very rare that I find a bad James Spader performance. Maybe the movies are really great, but the performance is really great. And I hear that he's really good in this show. Again, I haven't watched it, but I, but I did hear that he is the reason to watch this show. Definitely let me know what you think of the blacklist here, but... Uh, it's another one I wanted to get into, just never found the time. Hmm. Uh, other than that, that does it for Target, guys. Let's head out, shall we? Okay, not bad selection this week, but definitely what made it great was that exclusive. I thought that was a great exclusive here at Target. I love the artwork. The cover was really cool. And the 40-page booklet could be really nice. And it's the first exclusive we saw. Uh, unfortunately, Walmart didn't deliver in that, but Target did. And I was really surprised here. So that was a really cool exclusive, I thought. Really wonderful for Target to have. Other than that, they had decent stuff to, to look at this week. Nothing great, but at least we got that one cool exclusive to look at, and that made it definitely worth it, guys. All right, other than that, um, not too much else to see here. Let's head to the third location and see what other cool stuff we can check out. All right, everybody, we are at our third and final location, The Beast, Best Buy. Now, we've seen some good selection at the stores and at least one exclusive courtesy of Target. But can Best Buy give us another great exclusive? Can they deliver on some really great selection of titles this week? Let's go in and let's check out what The Beast has in store for us. Let's head inside. All right, guys, we are in at Best Buy here, and they have this huge display for Avengers Infinity War. And on the front side here, they have, oh, look at that. Very cool here, this display, very nice. Best Buy usually does their displays awesome, and this is definitely one of them. And I'm seeing they have a great exclusive here. For Avengers Infinity War, they have this 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital steelbook here. As you can see, you got Thanos there with the mighty gauntlet. Very cool here. And it kind of, on the inside, kind of looks like this here on the inside. If you can check it out. Very cool. Very, very, very cool steelbook here, guys. I'm, I'm liking this steelbook. Very nice. However, I'm noticing that they have the 4k ultra hd blu-ray and digital avengers age of ultron here and they also have for the first avengers as well both steelbooks and they don't really line up exactly with like the designs of the other two ones if you guys can check that out but it's still a really cool design i really do like it i like the them showcasing the gauntlet very nice here they have that for 34.99 they have the other steelbooks for the other avengers films for 34.99 as well they also have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital regular for $27.99 as well here. And they have the Blu-ray and Digital for $22.99 as well. And I will easily admit, man, this is a great culmination. And I can't wait until they come out with the, with the next one, I think part two, whatever they're going to call it. And this movie is directed by the Russo brothers. And, of course, if you guys remember, they, of course, uh, directed uh, Captain America Winter Soldier and um, Captain America Civil War. And they're really, really great directors, man. They hit this out of the park. And I know they've, they've tried to do other different iterations of, of um, Thanos in the MCU. Uh, 
changed it up a little bit. The Russos did their own thing. I think it works really well. I think they know how to manage the character. They did it great in Civil War. I always thought that Joss Whedon was going to do Thanos, but he never did. I, I think after the whole issues that he had with Age of Ultron, I think he just got tired and decided to just stop doing it. I think he would have done a great job with this as well, but I'm so glad the Russo brothers are doing this, and they're directing next year's film, and I'm just hoping that that's good, man. I'm just really hoping it is because... Man, they just hit it out of the park. I hate for them to sort of whiff on the on the last one in this 10-year journey. You know what I mean, guys? And they got a lot of really great stuff here. They got a lot of featurettes here, audio commentary by the directors, deleted scenes, gag reel, all that jazz. No, not bad special features for this. I'm definitely interested to check it out. And again, it's one of the best Marvel movies easily. Let me know what uh, your top three marvel films are i know it's top three it's kind of tough wish i would have said top five or top ten but i said top three definitely let me know i think this one would definitely be on the top three list for me but i definitely want to know from you guys and a very cool steel book that they have here as well all right guys let's see what else best buy has got to check out all right guys we are in this section of best buy and trust me they have a shitload of avengers infinity war they're not running out anytime soon and they do have the dvd here as well for 19.99 also and the other thing i am seeing here as well is i am seeing they do have the 4k ultra hd blu-ray and digital of predator for 29.99 so just so again you guys know that the Blu-ray is the same transfer as before. So again that really crappy waxy transfer wasn't very good. Um, just so you know that is. So the only good one from what I know is the, the 4K. The 4K everyone tells me looks phenomenal. And so that's the one to buy. And I know they have the three movie collection here for $47.99. And... I know, I think they may release the Predator 2 separately eventually. I know there's sort of like a pre-order thing um, on Blu-ray.com for it. I would like to just get the 4K Ultra HD and then the 4K Ultra HD of Predator 2. And that's all I really need. I don't need P Predators because I'm not a big fan of Predators. For me, it's Predator, Predator 2, and hopefully The Predator, which comes out in September, will be awesome fingers crossed because I really I, I think they've kind of fucked up the Predator franchise for a while and I'm kind of hoping they get back to actually making it better and with Shane Black on board hopefully it can be good that's what I'm hoping uh, the other thing that I'm seeing over here is I'm seeing the blu-ray of shock and awe for $15.99 and again I highly recommend you guys check this movie out and I know it's based on a true story about these guys in this paper and how they defied the Bush administration and how they ended up like trying to tell the truth when there's a lot of other newspapers and news outlets that weren't. And it's kind of interesting because um, the, the thing about it is like history doesn't judge you in the moment. So these guys were, were ridiculed and they were hated on. And now, you know, years later, decades, they're now, you know, more admired and more revered. But unfortunately, that's years down the road. That's the future. You know, you, you can't predict how people are going to react years down, down the road. Unfortunately, it's in the moment and they really got a lot of hate for what they did. They did the right thing, but history didn't judge them kindly at the time. Now, of course, it does. And it's just an amazing movie, and I just really loved it. And Rob Reiner hit it out of the park, man. You know, sometimes you think these directors uh, don't got it anymore, and then they just do one of these movies, and you're like, dude, they still got it. They just need the right material, and this is awesome here. Unfortunately, no special features, and I really wanted there to be special features. Uh, making of, commentary, talking about the true story, but nothing. Real shame, because it's a really great movie, and I wanted great special features, but alas didn't get any guys and the other thing over here i am seeing is that they do have a lot of copies of revenge here uh, a subscriber of mine was asking about 
um, why Revenge was such a limited release on Blu-ray, and I think it was only because um, it's not a big release. These these retail stores don't want to bring in a lot of copies when they don't think it's going to sell, and I think it sold more than they anticipated, so they had to bring in more. But the Best Buy here, mine has four copies left, and I don't know about anybody else's, but you can find it, you just got to search, but, you know, the Blu-ray might not be like a limited edition thing, but limited availability in retail stores. So, you know, they do have it, just so you guys know. And the next thing over here I am seeing is they have the Blacklist, the complete fifth season for $29.99 on Blu-ray and digital, and the DVD for $14.99 here. And is this a show that I should get into? Is the Blacklist a show I really should watch? I like James Spader. That would be the drawing point for me. But um, other than that, it kind of looks like this guy who's almost like a Hannibal Lecter type of dude. Very scary, intimidating. Um, could be cool. A uh, new season comes in 2019, so I could potentially catch up if you guys think it's worth it. Definitely let me know. Also over here, I am seeing the complete fourth season of NCIS New Orleans for $29.99. Uh, is this really worth it? I don't like any of the NCIS stuff. However, I do admit I do like Scott Bakula. Scott Bakula is actually very cool. And honestly, Scott Bakula is actually the reason I would probably watch this. The guy is actually a brilliant dude. I, You know, Quantum Leap, which is great. But eh, not so sure about this. This is this one, guys. Again, these type of movies are very generic. But mm, it is set in New Orleans, which could be the drawing point as well. Definitely let me know. Is it better than the other NCIS stuff? Uh, season 4. Delete scenes. Eh, okay, sort of standard TV box set. Special features, but... Eh. Love me Scott Bakula. That's the only reason I would probably ever watch it. Um, other than that, guys, I believe that it is it for... Oh, actually not, guys. I almost forgot about something. I believe also this week... Van Wilder came out on 4K. They they released it on 4K Blu-ray and digital. They got it here for $17.99. And my God, man, I have not watched this fucking movie in years. God, it's been so long. I remember really loving it. And I remember this is the this is the breakout role for Ryan Reynolds. This was the one that really got him on the map. And it's I remember it still being a great film. Haven't watched it in years. And Tara Reid um, was great in this as well. One of her only great roles that she's ever done. Man, they they, they did that really terrible um, uh, sequel there, The Rise of Taj, which is a real piece of shit. <laughs> At least I think so. A couple of great moments, but beyond that, not too much. Um, let's see what kind of special features they got. The unrated version contains outrageous... Uh, here. Actually, a lot of special features, man. This is... That's a lot of cool special features, man. And for $17.99, you're definitely getting your money's worth. If you guys have not checked out Van Wilder, do it. Um, if you've been waiting for a 4K release, this is it. $17.99 is a great price for that title, man. Other than that, that looks to be it for uh, Best Buy, guys. Let's um, head out. All right, nice selection here at Best Buy. Not great, but I thought they still had a lot of great, decent titles to look at. It was definitely worth checking out the exclusive. We got one more exclusive for Avengers Infinity War. And I really like the Steelbook. Steelbook's really nice. I like the cover to it. But I will admit, I do like the Target exclusive a little bit better i think i think that one i like the cover of that a little bit more i like that more than i do the best buy one but best buy was bound to do a steelbook of infinity war and it doesn't look too bad it definitely is well worth the money if you guys want to pay for it and uh, overall not too bad i like the selection in the stores for the most part and um, not a bad week of releases dare i say all right guys let's head home and finish the video all right, everybody, that'll do it for the Blu-ray and DVD out and about video this week. And, you know, come to think of it now, I think that exclusive that Walmart had, I think, was the Blu-ray only. The other stores that we saw had Blu-ray and digital. I think that exclusive that they had was just the Blu-ray disc itself, which isn't really much of an exclusive anyways, guys. But I think that's what they had, which... 
you know, if that's the case, then Target and Best Buy clearly blew Walmart out of the water with that stuff. But I thought overall the selection wasn't bad. Some stores had slightly better than others. I definitely thought there was a lot released this week. But definitely the juggernaut was definitely Infinity War, guys. And there's a ton of cool stuff out there. Definitely whatever version you picked up. The Steelbook, the gallery booklet that Target had, or just the regular 4K or Blu-ray edition. Uh, you can't go wrong. The movie's awesome, guys. And definitely, definitely pick up your copy. And definitely let me know what you guys got this week. I definitely want to know. And when I got home, I had quite a surprise in the mail. I had not one package, not two packages, not three packages, but four packages in the mail, guys. I had a package in the mail from Severin Films. I had a package in the mail, one limited edition Blu-ray in here. I had a package in the mail here from Diabolic DVD that has not one, not two, not three, but four Blu-rays in the mail. I got this sucker. Very interesting titles I got in here. I also got a Blu-ray in the mail from Best Buy as well. Got one from Best Buy Online that came out this week. And... I also got, last but certainly not least, I got a Blu-ray title from Amazon, another new release that came out this week as well. So I got, let's see here, four, uh, five, six, seven, I got seven Blu-rays in the mail this week, guys. So last week it was four titles, this week it's seven titles, and there's a bunch more stuff to come, guys. There's a lot of releases for the month of August, and it's going to be quite a good haul that I'm getting for the month. But you guys will not get to find out exactly what I picked up until my Blu-ray pickup video, which will drop at the beginning of next month. It will show off all of the releases that I got for the month. And let me tell you something, guys. So far, I've got some really cool titles a lot of older retro titles, uh, newer titles that were hidden theaters that just came to Blu-ray and DVD. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff that I'm getting, so definitely stay tuned for that video next month. You're going to really like what I picked up, guys. But other than that, that'll do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel... Check out the other Blu-ray, DVD, Out and About videos. Check out the theatrical movie reviews I do with my friends every single week. The Blu-ray pickup videos and so much more. I have a passion and I love talking about movies. It's, it's, it's part of my lifestyle. I, I love it. I've had the passion ever since I was a wee little lad. And I love sharing it with you guys. And I love my subscribers. I love sharing everything with them. And I love the feedback and the positivity I get back. It's a great, great group of people. I love the Film Fan Nation. And if you guys want to jump on board, then definitely hit subscribe and do that. And uh, keep up to date with all the videos that I'm doing on my Facebook, my Instagram, and my Twitter, Film Fan 108. Keep up to date with all the stuff I am doing on there, plus much more that's unique to those places as well. All right, guys, I will see you back next week for a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video. Take care, guys, and happy hunting.